Give Something Back to Berlin is an association that was founded in 2013, uh, kind of built around the idea of like mobilizing volunteers and also just people who live in the city, kind of bringing people together and showing kind of solidarity through kind of education and just kind of creativity. Uh, so the music school basically takes the principles of Give Something Back to Berlin, of kind of solidarity through creativity, and does it all through music. So we have a bunch of classes uh, teaching various instruments, um, digital audio workstations and that kind of thing. And it's about just kind of building a social space, and a space of a connection through learning to play instruments, singing songs together, and that kind of thing. I'm John, I'm the current project manager of the Open Music School. Um, I'm kind of like a musician, creative, kind of just hanging out in Berlin. So I help out a lot with the piano class, um, which would run weekly on Tuesdays, but with the coronavirus, uh, we've kind of moved to Zoom and piano doesn't quite kind of fit in that context. We started running something called the Music Theory Pajama Party, which is this really like informal, low-key space to just kind of talk about confusions around the kind of theory of music, which can be really hard to access and really complicated. And we're trying to just put it in like super simple and accessible terms. Uh, that's kind of just a weekly chat, basically. Uh, so we run uh, currently about four different workshops for instruments throughout the week, guitar, bass guitar, uh, piano, and ukulele. And the approach is really to just kind of get some volunteers who are motivated and passionate and just give them a space to teach and talk about what interests them. And that's probably really the best way to get people like motivated um, and people like participants and kind of students can tell when you care. And so we don't really have like a set curriculum, we don't really have like a graduation scheme or anything like that. It's super informal and super chill. And that's really the way we try to run things. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm a bass player and I teach bass at the Open Music School. I teach beginners. So if you are just picking up a bass and you'd like to learn, uh, between my friend Ben and I, we will teach you. Um, my approach is pretty, I guess it's kind of more casual. I kind of like to feel what the students are into at the time, but go song for song or style by style. So maybe we'll spend two weeks on the 60s psychedelia and then we'll move into, you know, blues or whatever. Depends on who's there at the time. My name is Joe. I have been teaching music at the Open Music School for what is now the last four years, I think. Every week we teach guitar there, uh, myself and a bunch of, bunch of other good folks. Uh, we have a beginner class for people who have never really played guitar before. We'll have a four-week course where people will, will, be, will learn the basics in the first week and carry on to the fourth week, where then they will be, uh, hopefully, up to moving on to this next course, which we have a sort of intermediate course which also runs at the same time, and then a later class, which is a social class. Generally, I'm taking the, the, uh, the social class, which is people who are sort of like get together and play songs, and we do a little bit of, a little bit more music theory, like scales and things like that. So yeah, that is, that's our, that's our classes. That's, that's the, the workshop is kind of, yeah. Yeah, I guess open is really the keyword. Like absolutely anyone is welcome to join. It's completely free uh, and always will be. And like, yeah, we welcome absolutely anyone because that's really where things kind of spark. So you've got like a diversity of people coming in um, and just like breaking as many barriers down as possible. Everyone can get involved by whoever wants to learn an instrument uh, can come down and learn an instrument. And anybody who wants to volunteer their time as well is always welcome because we I mean, we have other classes, but I think Tom and, and John now as well are, are, are really open to anybody coming down who has a, an idea of something to teach. Yeah, so all of our um, classes are powered completely by volunteer teachers. So even with like a little bit of knowledge of an instrument, if you can help someone play like a C chord on a guitar or a simple scale, that's going to be really helpful. Um, and we're also kind of interested in like always in expanding um, and like taking on new classes outside of what we currently run. So if someone's motivated to like teach a certain instrument and it's practical to like make it happen, that's always amazing. This project started entirely through just volunteer work uh, and just like motivation. And so if someone wants to try their own version of this in another city, that would be really amazing to see. And like we'd be really happy to like talk about the realities of how it kind of, how it gets done. Um, and yeah, it would be really awesome to see that, that happening. I think like it, it is hard work, but it's good work. And like there's a real demand for it, I think, once you tap into it, because music education is this, it can be this like really expensive, closed off area, but people together in a room with some instruments for free and it happens. 
We have this sort of instrument library where we lend that to anyone who couldn't otherwise really get started with the instrument. Um, and we've lent out loads of guitars, uh, and loads of bass guitars especially. Um, and so more of those would be really helpful because there's clearly a demand for them. Also like strings, like guitar strings, bass guitar strings, audio interfaces, um, anything to help with like digital sound production would also be really amazing. Um, some like turntables even would be fantastic because they're really hard to get, get your hands on. Um, if anyone's got a, that a box of cables that you have lying around, like jacks and MIDI cables, interface setup, anything like that, like just dropping that around, it would go to good use um, for sure. Oh, my best memory. Well, I mean, I've only really been teaching since the pandemic, so I haven't had that experience that the others have had, and I'm very much looking forward to it. But when I was at Refugio and teaching, in the space, it was a pretty amazing energy. I leave, even on Zoom, I leave feeling pretty energized and very fulfilled and happy. Uh, we ran an open concert night uh, a few years ago. People kind of, students came along to kind of perform stuff they've been working on. Um, and somebody was playing, I think it was a piano piece, and like in the first few bars, just made a mistake and kind of stopped playing. And there was just this huge like room full of people. There was, this almost could be a really awkward moment, but there was just so much support and love and like kind of cautious applause uh, to like get that person to restart straight away. It's just a really beautiful moment. Well, some of the students don't, didn't play any guitar at all. And then to see, you know, a couple of years later, we're playing, we all have a big jam that we play at the end. One of the guys is like playing a guitar solo over the top, you know, and, and that's like quite, quite special to see someone who's, who's, who has picked up a guitar and never had an experience with a guitar, didn't really even know what a guitar is, coming to live in Berlin, joins the school, and then now he's playing, you know, a guitar solo. It's pretty cool. Well, it's such a melting pot of so many different cultures and communities, and we manage to communicate through music, and that is a universal language, so that's pretty special. I think being able to like, it sounds like a cliche, but give the gift of music uh, is a really powerful thing. And it's something that I've always been a part of my life uh, and finding ways to just like um, spread that around as much as possible. And to also just meet people and socialize through it as well. It was a huge thing for me when I moved here. Um, I was living like right out in, basically in Brandenburg, but I would cycle an hour every week just to like teach some piano. It's, uh, it's given me some good friends, that's for sure. Uh, like a lot of the students are, are now friends. Especially on a Monday, you know, after the weekend, it's, it's kind of like the start of the week, we get together, we play some, some music together, and it's, it's really nice. And even, that even works on Zoom, I think, it's on online. You know, no matter what the day, uh, on, or how the day went on a Wednesday after teaching, I always feel really good especially watching them grow. I mean, each, every, it's, it's amazing, it really is, it's, it's so special. Uh, obviously we have a hope to one day be able to go back to in-person lessons, have one of those amazing big group concerts again. Um, and that's really an ambition, but obviously only when it's like safe and reasonable and within like what we're comfortable doing more than just the, the like requirements. Um, so also I'm hopeful that we can like keep finding ways to engage people through what we're limited in doing through lockdown um, and like working with the unique challenge of teaching through Zoom and that kind of thing. Yeah, to, definitely to have the classes in person again, I think there's a real kind of itch for that for everybody and to do the performance nights again and, and also to, yeah, have more, more classes on offer because I would also love to learn some other instruments. Every night of the week, music would be great, yeah. I think once the pandemic is over and seeing uh, the community come together physically and uh, enjoy playing together, like how music should be, what we all want at the end of the day, that's going to be incredible and that, that wish is definitely easy to kind of imagine at this stage but um, the idea of what we're doing and what could happen in other cities I think, I think could really change the way we connect with each other. Uh, donating instruments will be really, really helpful and so instruments, gear, cables, anything that you've got laying around, we'll very much appreciate them being donated to us.